Hi Cancer, this is Chronic Joy Tarot and this is going to be your March 2018 reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign Cancer. Um, thank you for being here with me. This is, um, this is a very busy time of year for me, sorry, and I'm, my readings are just, um, I'm, I, I want to stay on track with them. I wasn't able to do two readings in February like I like to, but I'm going to try for, for March. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back, and thank you for all the ways that you support my channel, um, all the likes and shares and subscribes and comments. I love you guys. And remember, this, this my reading style is really less about um, circumstances and predictions and more about what's in you and how to um, grow and expand your own sense of um, spirit and you know starting from your soul this is about soul growth we choose an aspect of yourself at um, every reading and then learn how to how to navigate through and for your reading the theme that I pulled for you I pulled from this Native Spirit deck by Denise Lynn, and your card right now, Cancer, is Wounded Healer. Am I getting that? Yeah, I've had a problem with the, <laughs> the angle of the camera the last couple months. Wounded Healer. So this is talking, you know, this is talking about you've been through a lot. Um, you know, your you're more of a healer than maybe you give yourself credit for, right? Because, you know, your own wounds and your own um, challenges and hardship have brought you to a place, where, especially with the cancer um, energy and being intuitive and um, connected, you know, in an emotional sense. You have that that ability to have the compassion to heal others because of the hardships you've gone through, okay? And in native traditions, native cultures, the wounded healer, um, are those they've gone through the most hardship and, and, and healed it and then can, you know, reach out and help others. And it's believed that they can provide sort of great solace and can bring on profound healing for others. Not just, oh, you know, I'm here and I'm compassionate and I can help you out, but really, truly, you're walking, you're walking healers, okay? So this, um, this reading is going to focus on that sort of healing vitality, um, sort of that life force energy that you can f have, allow to flow to you and then flow through you and share with others. Okay, we're talking about that sort of um, healing force that you carry all the time, but maybe aren't always tapped into, okay? The spread I'm using here with the Zen Tarot deck is called the Flying Bird. We have point of liftoff. The left wing are internal energies that are within you that you're aware of that maybe others aren't. And then the right wing are the external influences. Um, we take flight and then we move through the internal and external and come to sort of a new level of understanding. Your starting point here for you, Cancer, is intensity. So there may be some situations around you that um, are causing a lot of pressure on your heart and, and um, asking you to... Um, bring healing energy to. If, if things are building up around you, maybe with a relationship or um, something within your family or your community, um, you know, you could even go far out as globally, you know, there is a calling for your healing energy to be brought up and out. And even if it just lands on one person, or no, nobody, and it just is brought, the energy is brought out of you, that's the effect we're looking for. We're looking for a relief, um, a release, 
of some building pressure that's going on. Um, if it is with a relationship, then um, begin to speak from your heart. Begin to speak from um, what your truest um, self knows instead of the uh, more heady sort of logic, you know, here's an outline of how we can get through this, one, two, three. Well, really tap into what's going on in your heart and that's your guide. And that will heal the situation. You know, it's, it's building up and you're almost to the point where, uh, I don't know if I wanna be in this anymore, <laughs> but it's, it's going to take some deep digging and um, you know, just less external and more digging deeper and coming from those roots of um, what your soul knows, okay? And then that will heal the situation. The first internal energy here, this position is called the flying, um, this spread is called the flying bird. This position is called the fear of flying. So this would be an, um, something going on within you that you either need to master or address or acknowledge in order to move on and progress. And that, this is the second reading I've had this card in this position. So we're asking you to clear your mental clutter, get in touch with your higher self, your deeper self, which we had just said, right? Um, maybe meditate more. Um, maybe, um, you know, if you're if you're practiced or even begin to practice following your intuition, if you can see that third eye is lit up in, in this Buddha figure, it is the highest space of mental capacity that we can, that we can um, occupy. And you're, ask, you're being asked to really do a mental clearing in order to be able to move forward and in order to heal this situation that is becoming too intense, okay? So, um, and, you know, possibly take a step back from it for a minute and, um, you know, do away with all the thoughts that are kind of crowding your mind right now in regards to the situation, this intense situation. Okay, the first external energy here, um, as a result of mastering these, you know, digging deep and then reaching high, <laughs> clearing the mind and um, following your intuition and just being able to bring about a healing energy will create a breakthrough for you. You're on your way. You're on your way. And I wouldn't say, you know, this is going to happen in three days, right? But you're on your way. And if you see this, you know, busting open of that third chakra, sort of that, you know, I'm going to, um, you know, that solar plexus chakra is just lit up and everything's breaking free. It's almost like, um, well, this pressure of this intensity got to be too much and, and it's not a destructive breaking free. It's a, it's a very um, heart opening and necessary release of this pressure to let, and, um, you know, letting your truest self be present, you know, even if it creates a little fear and you're not so sure how it will be received, it's, it's going to change your life, okay? Just acknowledging, you know, um, there's something that needs fixing or there's something that needs healing um, within me, within others, within a connection with another, whatever that is. Um, and my path to that is to trust, first of all, trust my ability to change it and um, trust my intuition. And, and if you're not in touch with, you know, your intuition on a day-to-day -day basis, then meditate more because that will clear the, the um, mental attic, you know, the attic of your mind and it will clear it and you will, you, you're on for some big changes. You're headed for it. The next internal energy as a result of this breakthrough is you will feel, you'll just start having more fun. You're going to feel more connected to your inner child than ever before. And it's going to be, um, you know, and maybe this is, you know, in a connection with another. If this, if this reading resonates for you as far as pertaining to a relationship, 
it's going to improve um, your perception of that relationship. It's going to improve, improve your, um, how you show up from the inside out, okay? And then as a result of that, it, you know, the others involved will also have an improved perception and then that's when the healing begins, okay? The next external energy here is that friendliness card. It's very important. This is um, in your day-to-day -day life. And if this does resonate to you as pertaining to one relationship with another, it's very important that you stay as your healing energy comes up. It's very important that you stay rooted in your own space. Like these two trees could not be, you know, in this picture, more different, right? One's yellow, one's pink. They're very close in proximity. And where their branches meet, they've got um, some blending of color there. There's orange where the branches and roots meet because the yellow and the pink are blending. And so there is a connection. Um, as you, as you know, Cancer, are connected to others from your heart. You're very, um, you know, that's what makes you a healer is you have that ability to really um, easily connect with others and change their lives. But what this is calling for you to do is be sure to stay rooted in your own, the space you take up. You know, if these leaves were all washed away, there would be some connection between the branches, but not enough for one, like if the wind blew, uh, you know, one of the trees this way, it wouldn't be enough entanglement to pull the other tree down, right? You you stay rooted in your own um sense of awareness and this is showing up in an external position so this is saying like if this were um if we are talking about a relationship with another you know they need the space to um grow their own as well um and you can be supportive and bring your healing energy into it without getting too entangled into um you know that that intense feeling okay the last internal energy here, oh boy, I'm pulling this one a lot this month, is the dream. So this is kind of saying, you know, there's, um, um, we, we want to just not be too disillusioned by, um, you know, the sort of the fairy tale life that we're told, <laughs> um, that we're, that, that we're presented with at times in our life, you know, um, but maintain because of the position of this card i'm saying that what i'm getting is that you know maintain that sort of hopeful um um you know anything's possible sort of you know almost a happily ever after energy um because that that positive outlook and that that you know expanded outlook that reaches upward toward better bigger and better is a healing it is there is a healing quality to that so continue your positivity um you know through this situation continue it make sure you you keep that um that positive hopeful outlook within you even if you don't share it with others just just keep that alive within you okay and then the outcome or the um, top of the external oh boy you this is okay this is a guilt card this is a mind card and I'm gonna read this two ways I'm going to say either if this intense situation that's ready to bust and you can't really take another day of it um, isn't resolved within you and you and you don't take these steps then you will find this energy you will find yourself feeling guilty about not having asserted yourself or not having applied your healing and your um heart energy toward it um which you know this is just a state of mind it's not anything that's going to shatter you Another way that I'm going to read this is that when, when, so if you don't follow, you know, 
this path and, and bring that healing heart out and really make changes in your life to these situations that are building pressure. You know, if you don't, then you may end up with some, you know, regret or guilt. If you do, you're going to avoid this, right? You're going to master, um, you know, what's right for you and, and the others involved. You're going to master it. You're going to actually bring on such a healing sort of, um, um, the image I'm getting is like a fresh snowfall and a calm sense of um, protection and covering of um, the hearts and the space involved. And you'll, it will be so subtle, the healing energy will be so subtle yet so um, complete in its you know protection of the situation that there won't be any room you won't there won't be any room for this mind stuff it's going you're gonna it's you know it's all gonna be okay <laughs> so I guess that's a sort of a trite way to put it but but yeah you've got some real um, powerful possibilities here possible energies and it's it's really starting with your ability to um, shift your perception and get more in touch with that higher self. And then you put your healing energy onto it. It becomes better and better and better. Okay. All right, my dear Cancer, I will um, do my best to do another reading this month. And um, until then, that's it for now. I love you guys. Take care. <laughs>